What is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? Hope that you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and um, I hope that you guys really, really enjoy it. I'm going to have a lot of fun making this video and I definitely did trying out all of these new games that are definitely hopefully going to blow up in 2018 on Roblox. Of course, you guys know that this is a top five list of games that I think are going to be pretty darn huge in 2018 on Roblox itself. So before we get into the video and actually take a look at these awesome games, how about going over to my channel, clicking subscribe, turning on notifications, and also giving this video a like, guys, because it helps me out a huge amount, and I would love you guys if you did that. You're all amazing, so thank you. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the first game of 2018 that I think will really, really blow up once it's out of its early alpha stage. Now, of course, you guys are probably known of a game called Apocalypse Rising. That was a game, it was kind of like a survival game, where you would go around in this kind of post-apocalyptic world, and you would have to fend off uh, and fight zombies. And it was pretty cool, but there was an even bigger threat than the zombies in this little universe of a game. There was actually other players that were in the game with you that would also attack you and try and steal your loot. It's a very awesome game, guys. Apocalypse Rising is now available, I think, on Xbox, which is pretty huge, to be honest. So if any of you guys have Xboxes, go and search it up. It's called Apocalypse Rising. I'm sure you guys will love it. And um, yeah, this game was one of my favorite games when I first played it. I'm pretty late to Roblox, to be honest, but I am catching up on games and what was popular back in the day and stuff. And this was definitely one of the most popular games back in the day. It just looks amazing, to be honest, and the dev team do excellent stuff with it. Now, in Apocalypse Rising 2, the actual game is only in an alpha state, which does mean you have to pay for it, which is very annoying because nobody don't wants to spend Robux on a game the majority of the times, especially when you don't know how it's going to end up or anything like that. But I can assure you guys that this game will hopefully be done by 2018 in a, if not free, um, at least a very lower price version of itself right now. So let's say that like when it gets to summer or something like that, they will most likely have it in a beta stage, which will be like, what, 50 Robux or something? And then after that, it will be completely free. So I do hope to look out for this. I've already bought the game and I absolutely love it. I think it's brilliant. It's just that not many people play it right now, but this game is definitely sure to blow up in 2018. So definitely keep your eyes on it, guys, and go and favorite it on your Roblox account. The next game that we're going to be taking a look at is a game that a lot of people have already played. And to be honest, if it wasn't for buying the game itself, a lot of people will be playing this game right now. It is called Game Dev Life. It is actually like kind of it's a Roblox version of a Game Dev Tycoon. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen it on the App Store or the Android Store. It's a game where you basically are a game developer who creates your own games. But the twist on it is that this is actually a tycoon game and by that it is probably one of the best tycoon games I've ever played on Roblox. Personally, I'm not a big fan of them, I normally hate them, but playing around about, uh, let's see, about 30 minutes of this game, I really found it very enjoyable. It's very different actually. Basically, you have to create your game, after you've kind of created your game and coded it and it kind of chose what kind of a game you want it to be, you then have to go and drive to the actual warehouse where they produce your stock. So get, basically you get like a car and you can actually uh, change what car you're driving and although it's no vehicle simulator, it is very good with the car mechanics, they're pretty cool. And then after you've actually picked up your games from the warehouse, you then have to go to the store and then give them your shipment of the games and then you have to sell them to the actual retailer. It's pretty cool. To be honest, it's very out of the box, <laughs> pardon the pun, and um, yeah, I basically sold my Crazy Cats game. I'm like... 500 people bought it and I made like 15,000 Robux off it. It was pretty good. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are going to enjoy this game because I know a lot of people in Roblox really enjoy Tycoon games. So definitely keep an eye out on this one, guys, because it is going to go free sometime in 2018, we hope. And you guys will absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure you will. And I will definitely do a couple of videos on that, actually, too, if it does go free, because I really enjoyed it. It was pretty fun. What can I say? Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our third game in the actual video itself and this one has been around for around about two years now 
and it's getting to the point where I honestly believe they will probably make it free this year. It is basically called him Bloxburg. You guys have probably already seen it. It's on the trending page quite a lot now and it's definitely on the most earning because a lot of people spend a lot of Robux on this game and that's because it's kind of worth it to be honest. It's basically a simulation game. You can be, it's basically The Sims. It's basically The Sims. You have your mood swings, you can, you have to eat to survive, you have to drink water, you have to pee, you have to go to the toilet, you have to get in the shower and poop. I don't know who else does that. Is it just me? Yeah, probably. Um, but basically you can create your your own house and although I didn't show any gameplay of me creating a house in this game it is very cool me walking around my house that is not re yet built it kind of gives you an idea of the different kind of things you can actually create in this game and here is me actually in somebody else's house and as you can see as you kind of progress in the game you learn new skills such as painting and um, you have a job you actually have to go to work and you can be like a pizza delivery guy or something like that it's absolutely amazing I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have already seen this game but for those of you who have never actually played it because it's cost Robux, I'm hoping that this year they will actually make it free. So definitely keep a lookout for this one, guys, because it is definitely one of my favorite ever Robux games I've ever, ever played. Now the next game that we're taking a look at is an awesome game. I've been following the development of it for quite some time. It is only in an alpha stage, I believe right now, and it does cost Robux to actually buy a thousand Robux, which is a lot of money, maybe a little bit too much for me. But this game is called Q Clash, and I honestly believe this is one of the best games that are going to be released in 2018. The developers that are working on this have basically recreated Overwatch or I guess Paladins, I don't know, Overwatch or Paladins, it doesn't matter what you like the best, but they've recreated it in Roblox and as you can see the gameplay right here from Vincent's tweets, this is one of the developers, it, the gameplay looks amazing, everything looks great, the UI looks amazing, the kill feed, um, it just looks like a really professional game recreated in Roblox and this is genuinely the type of game that I love to play games that have been like sweat and blood have went into it to actually make it a good game as you can see the spray painting aspect of overwatch is actually in the game you can use your spray paints on the walls which is a crazy mechanic and uh, it looks so good and of course there are a lot of characters to unlock you can actually put new skins on them new weapon skins uh, you can change the sprays that they use on the wall it looks amazing guys it is definitely going to blow up in 2018 if it wasn't a thousand robux I probably would have already bought it by now, but I am going to wait until the price drops or it goes free because the developers are hoping that it is going to be completed in 2018, which makes it a number one part on this list. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically it's a really cool game and you guys have got to look out for it because it's amazing and it's a really cool game. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely one of the better games I've ever seen created in Roblox. Remember guys, Q Clash, add it to your favorites list. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be huge. Now the next the next game that we have, I don't have any gameplay of it, and it's actually from a developer called Sushi Walrus. Um, I've actually followed this guy for a long time. He actually re he actually created Ben 10 Arrival of Aliens, which blew up earlier this year. Like everyone was doing videos on it, getting like millions of views, thousands of views. It was amazing. It was huge, and for some reason, you guys really loved it. I mean, it was a really good game, but there was aspects of it where I was kind of like, uh, it's a little bit. Mm. But, um, I don't know. When I saw him actually tweet out this, I was pretty, pretty happy. He is actually creating a new game called Crossovers, or Crossovers, Crossovers? Yeah, Crossovers, which is actually like the Ben 10 game, where you can actually go as your favorite characters and have power-ups and fight people, but... He's actually making it where it is Marvel and DC. As you can see, there was a, a picture of Spider-Man just a second ago. Now it's Batman. Look at that. He's actually got the Batman costume in there. And I forget what Batman that is. I forget. But it's from the cartoons and they made a game of it. But um, yeah, this is going to be huge on Roblox. And as you can see, he's got lots of different variants of the Spider-Man costume. There's the Miles Morales one right there. It looks 
amazing. It really does. And uh, personally, I think this is going to be a huge game, especially for YouTubers. Like, you will see a load of good YouTubers doing games on this, especially me. Like, I seriously cannot wait till he brings this out. When he does, I will definitely do videos on it. So if you are excited for any of these games release and you want to see videos or guides or anything on them, then please do subscribe to the channel, guys, because I definitely will do videos on them, if you ask especially. Uh, but this one is probably my most, uh, like, the, the one that got me most excited, to be honest, because the Batman mod looks amazing, the Spider-Man mod looks amazing, and uh, he actually did show some gameplay off in one of his tweets, but I didn't actually screen grab or anything, so I'm sorry that I couldn't provide you with that. But again, the game is actually called Crossovers, um, Battle Arena, I think. I'm pretty sure it's called that, but it definitely is called Crossovers. And uh, yeah, that is coming sometime in the next couple of weeks. As you can see in one of the uh, one of the tweets, he actually says, "Maybe I will when maybe after I finish the third character, I will open the game." So it is going to be a released game sometime soon, a very early looking one. But still, nevertheless, it is going to be out this year, which I cannot wait for. Um, well, anyway, guys, that concludes our top five videos for games games that are going to be released in 2018 on Roblox. I do hope that you agreed with me on some of these games, and if you didn't, don't forget, comment down below and tell me what games you would have put in this video too, because honestly, I have opened opinions. Like, if you guys have a game that you think nobody's seen before, and it's better than one of these ones, then please comment it down below. I'll actually kind of give it a check when I can. Um, but anyway, guys, have a very awesome day. I do hope that you uh, enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!